Hey, why are you taking that chair? porch combines a lot of disturbing features. An uncomfortable position, bad lighting, uncontrolled ventilation, and noise. All these things do a lot to prevent comfort and relaxation. Scientists have made a study of this business of relaxation. At Colgate University, Dr. Donald A. Laird, head of the Department of Psychology, has developed some interesting devices to test relaxation. With a machine called the somnokinetograph, or sleep movement writer, Dr. Laird can make an accurate record of the amount of relaxation we get when we sleep. This magic disc on the mattress is connected to a pen, which writes on a moving sheet of paper. Every time the sleeper turns, tosses, or rolls over, there is a corresponding peak or valley on the chart. Well, he's spinning like a merry-go-round. Can't settle down. Well, try the other side. Oh, um, that's better. Comfortable at last. Just a couple of wiggles and jiggles and so to sleep. In order to sleep well, we must be completely relaxed. So the smoother the line, the better the sleep. This tightly sealed box proves that a gentle flow of air about the body is just as important as fresh air for the lungs. The lack of ventilation has a weakening effect on the human system. But on the other hand, when there is too much ventilation or a draft, the body muscles tighten and we begin to shiver. Shivering is hard work and it makes us tired. In this experiment, the mask collects the air the young lady breathes. The air is measured and then analyzed in a laboratory to determine the amount of energy she uses under different working conditions. Now, we'll give the young lady 80 decibels of unpleasant noises. That is, about the amount of noise in a traffic jam on New Year's Eve. Hold your ears. The results prove that under pleasant, quiet conditions, the average person uses 19% less energy to do 10% more work. Here's an experiment to show the effect of an uncomfortable position. Sitting like this for two hours would make almost anyone tired. The loss of efficiency can be studied in the tapping speed. One pencil dot in each square. And hurry, hurry, hurry. But after two hours of relaxation, in a properly designed chair with soft padding and armrests, the tapping test is repeated. And this time, he can lick his weight in woodpeckers. Here's another one. A special clock to find out what happens when we don't get enough rest. The experimenter presses a button and an automatic switch rings a bell. The object is to note the position of the clock hand at the instant the bell sounds. The young fellow is a victim of that tired feeling. In fact, he probably gets dizzy just looking at the spinning hand of the clock. Oh, uh, 30. The more rest and relaxation we get, the greater is our mental efficiency and the more quickly we react. 50? You can try this test yourself. Remember, 
Try to tell where the hand of the clock is when the bell rings. Ready? Did you get it right? 20? And that one was 60. Let's try once more. Ready? What did you get that time? Well, 40 was right. And don't blame yourself if you didn't make a good score. Maybe you were up too late last night. In many places, our homes, office, and in the automobile, our home on wheels, these elements that control relaxation are important. In the automobile, relaxation is even more important because it affects safety. The relaxed driver is a safer driver because he is able to think more quickly in traffic emergencies. Wherever we are, when we can control the temperature, we can still be comfortable and relaxed, whether it's hot or cold. Proper ventilation is important to comfort. Plenty of fresh air circulating without draft. In our motor cars, adjustable sun visors give us protection from harsh, glaring lights. Home sweet home, soft, comfortable chairs, plenty of room to stretch out and relax. And in our smoothly riding home on wheels, adjustable seats are raised slightly as they are moved forward, making relaxation easy for any driver. Driving controls, pedals and levers are within easy, effortless reach. Armrests for long drives and room to relax. All these things help to make our cars as pleasant as a properly run home, a place where you really can relax. Noise from outside has been cut down by heavy insulation in the steel body. On the floor, road noises are silenced by insulation mats under the carpet. Openings around driving controls and the dash are protected by thick mufflers of insulating material. The solid steel turret top is sealed against heat and cold as well as against outside noises by the soundproofing insulation. This insulation has the ability to cut off all noises. Hello, John, how are you? Hi, Dad, you have a nice quiet afternoon? This is the first quiet place I've found. Now, Dad, I'm going after some ice cream for the kids, and you'll be just as comfortable riding as you will sitting here in the driveway. Now, just sit back and relax. <laughs> 